Thank you for tuning in to the Force Production Party of the Channel. My name is Lawrence Malchef, and today we are doing safety squat barbell and rack pulls from the knee up, dips, and some assorted other assistance exercises. But I'm only showing the rack pulls, the um, safety squat barbell, and the dips. Today I'm pausing every set of the top sets of safety squat barbells beginning now. So basically I'm doing 25 paused squats for the whole session with 240 pounds on my back with the safety bar, with the safety barbell. The reason for this is that uh, the next meet is on is, is, is October 12th and that gives me plenty of time to work on a really great personal best at a body weight of 224 pounds and hopefully uh, that personal best will be somewhere around a squat of say 430 to 450 pounds who knows it may be more but um, uh, instead of going through the training session super fast now I'm slowing it down and waiting around five to seven minutes in between sets and if I really 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 feel super energized um, and if I'm really feeling super energized then I will cut the rest period shorter but even if I'm feeling super energized they may take a little bit longer on general principle because um, the weight's going up the and the the overall difficulty of the training sessions has changed and I just need more rest it's more conducive to uh, to better performance in practice which definitely will be better conducive to uh, a better performance come meet time so I'm at a different phase in training now where the rest doesn't have to be uh, super fast you know, I push hard by pausing my squats. So I make an exchange. I don't rip through the sets now. Now I pause the reps in the bottom of the hole because that's where I had the problem. Uh, that's where I failed my last squat in my last meet was at the bottom, meaning coming out of the hole right here. That's where I failed, coming up. Going down into the into the bottom of the squat position, yeah, no problem. Right here, coming out, that is where most lifters uh, will fail, and they'll fail right there almost every time. Now, halfway up, right here is where see where it slows down. That is where uh, you need to be able to power out of the bottom of the hole in the in the squat. So. You'll see, if you're paying attention or keeping along with me, that on Sunday, I'm going to speed up my squats so that I can drive out of the hole to that point there, the halfway point. And that's the sticking point. You see, it gets slow right there and then speeds back up. So my job is to be able to drive out of the hole and right through the midway point to a solid squat to a new personal best. So um, the protocols are the same in this training schedule. It's just I'm um, supposed to be speeding things up. And uh, in that sense, now with the rack pulls, um, pulling at the level of the knees instead of the level of the mid-shin to work on lockout. I thought of my last deadlift because I just, I was just wiped. I was just completely, utterly wiped. I had no, and, and I had no, well, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't wiped out. Let me take that back. Um, the rest periods in the meet between attempts were so short that it was just, it, it was sick, man. So, um, I don't know what would have been what had, had I had the time to uh, to rest and go for and go for a uh, uh, 
to go for my last deadlift attempt. Maybe I would have made it, maybe I wouldn't have. But I, you know, but to have a good chance, I would have needed 10 minutes in the last meet for the ninth uh, lift. So I can't control the conditions of the upcoming meet, but I can try to give myself the best chance to do to do my best. And so now I need to uh, take a little bit longer rest periods in between sets. And, uh, and when I do pull with intensity, pull with, uh, pull with, pull like a pull, pull like a power lifter, man, you know, just get in there and, and, and uh, lock everything down and give it a yank. Now, proud of these dips coming up because my arms are getting more defined. My body's getting more defined. And if you look, the inside head of the triceps is getting bigger, which is what I've always wanted was to have a nice, big inside tricep muscle, which definitely makes me happy to see that that sucker is growing, which uh, definitely equates to a bigger bench down the road. A little shoulder work here to finish. And uh, um, that's basically it for this, for this training session. Thank you, guys. Thank you, new subscribers. Leave questions. Uh, make comments. And in whatever way you want, don't be surprised at how I answer because sometimes I surprise people. And I will talk to you a little bit later. Bye.